Now we can head over here and watch as our new handyman in the hothouse and he's hanging out here. Hey there, what kind of weapon or armor you want to temper? And now we can forge or temper our items should we wish. Uh, now forging is new for us, we have not done that before. We can only forge weapons that we have, uh, uh, well we have unlocked I guess you could say, so just the four that we have so far. Uh, so you could you can't make a cotton sword no matter how hard you try uh, you can make an animal bone for a bone sword which uh, is not very good at all to be honest with you um, the one on the left is what we have um, equipped I believe and yeah just no I don't think well I mean it can be good in the long term because it has a higher limit but I'm not going to be using that just yet uh, no. Um, so, there you go. That's that's forging. We'll go over that more a little later when it's, you know, a little more relevant when there's actually going to be some more improvements, but uh, that's basically the gist of it. We still can't even do it out of cotton? You kidding me? There we go. We can make a marble helm, which would be awesome. So, uh, once again, I will go over this more in detail a little bit later once, uh, once we get some good stuff. Now, uh, what day is it? It is that day. We don't we don't officially know what day that is, but it's the same day it was last time that I was here trying to uh, trying to get some planning done. So uh, let's see if we picked anything here. We have we have a heart mint. Heart mints are one of the better items, but clearly not the best item in the game uh, for uh, for forging. All right, looks like Little Cactus has written something new. Very, very nice. So let's rebuild the hot house so we can read his little poem. What does it say? Something good. Rail carts rock. The chief snagged up a rail cart and, and got it quickly rolling. Bumpity bump bump bump. Chief cart reckons change in tracks of pain and get your backside swollen. Bumpity bump bump bump. I don't. I don't think that rhymed. Wait, like rolling swollen? There we go. Rolling swollen, but cart in pain. Definitely not. Definitely not. That wasn't one of your better works. All right. So hold on for just one second. Okay, we pretty much need to go back the way that we came. Uh, we need to head back to Gaia Cave, which is very, very close to where the, uh, the mine is. Very close, in fact, to where we started the session at the Goddess Statue. Uh, it's actually just like one screen over. So we need to head back through Mushroom Forest. That is getting a little ahead of myself. We need to keep going further west here. Then we can head north up here because I forgot a treasure chest, which is right here. Nothing uh, too out of the way, though. You get some flat seeds out of there. As you can see, there is a, uh, a little grapple placement right here, but we can't use it because we're on that side. But there's a quick way back should we need to use that later. All right, let's head up here. And now we can head up and across the river there. And we can head north up here. Now remember, this was the way to the save point where we had started. Here it is. Now we can continue going west. And here we can find, well, not new enemies, but this is a new screen. Definitely a new screen. And these guys are pushovers for me. Really? And, and you, the damn hedgehog. Here we go. Die. No chest, after all that, fine. So let me grab this chest here, which has round seeds in it, and we can head out of here. Up to the north, and here we have found Gaia's facade. Is that a mouth? I swear I see a mouth there. Do you guys see the mouth there? 
Oh my god, it's a face in the stone. They say I can go through with mithril. But how do I use it? What are you doing with the mithril? Oh, what a brilliant shine, such appetizing mithril. Huh? It's really alive? Whoa! And he swallowed us. Hooray! Am I inside, Gaia? You, you might be. You might be. Oh, great. Five of these guys. Alright, with those gone, let's head up here. And further into the cave. Very nice. Uh oh. Oh, that's not good at all. Okay, so we have a new enemy. They are just eyes. Let's see if I can hit with my sword. Very nice. And down they go. Oh, uh, those guys up there do some very mean status on us. Oh, that looks like he was trying to cast it on me. But you couldn't. You couldn't. Let's grab crooked seeds out of there. And ow. Dick. There you go. Oh, and a level up. Very nice. Uh, we're up to 23 now. Let's keep leveling up thief for now. Very nice. We are definitely getting up there in agility. Oh. That does not... I'm going to avoid that for now. For now. Damn it. <laughs> Ow, got right in my way. Oh, we got these guys. I, I, yeah, I just need to take care of these guys real fast, making sure I don't die. That'd be nice. Alright, uh, with this guy, luckily I already have a salamander equipped. Oh, we got... See, this is... This is why I normally cut out and stuff. Okay. Go, salamander! Jesus. We can't have nice things. We can't have nice things. Go, ow. Go, bow. There we go. Why do I have to switch weapons in order for Salamander to be effective, damn it? Let's go north up here. And up here we can find two treasure chests. One with a marble. And one with a big seed. Very nice. Those will be put to use eventually, I am sure. Alright, let me take these guys on again. Okay, let's head out to the west here. And these giant moving rocks that look so scary do no damage to you. They just push you around a little bit. They are not scary at all. In fact, these guys, these metaballs up here, these guys are a lot scarier. Now, wait for that to go down. Now we can head up and through here. Ah, take on this guy. That guy is bad news. That guy is bad news indeed. It didn't drop a treasure chest for me. Alright, so let's head through here. Oh, I guess they can hurt you, but it doesn't hurt nearly that, that much at all. Alright, let's hop up here so we can take this guy on. And we need to take out... Take out the... Take out... God, why is it so hard to do with the sword? I swear. With the bow, no problem. No problem with that bow. But with the sword, for some reason, I cannot do it. And up here we do find a treasure chest with animal hide in it. Very nice. I'm sure that's used for crafting, uh, which we will be doing a little bit more of later on. Forging, I should say. Even though... Whenever I think of uh, hides, I always call it crafting instead of forging. Now we can head up here, and we can grab ourselves a marble. Very, very nice. Once again, used for forging. We will be going over all that kind of stuff eventually. I do need to take this guy on, otherwise I cannot jump off. You, you, you are going to let me jump off. Thank you. Jeez. It's all a matter of getting the right spot, apparently. Alright, take him on. Take him on. These guys are easy. And now we can move on uh, through here. Hold on while I take these guys on, though. Alright, and from here we can head down and around. Taking on this guy who almost killed me. Jeez. Please don't be something too hard. Something too hard. Spikes. <laughs> No, not spikes. Oh, but we did get a Presto Veggie on that. 
Don't be a trap. Thank you. For iron! Very nice. For Cena, iron. And I do need to heal here, otherwise I might die. I don't like healing very often, though, as I'm sure you guys could tell. Uh, because, well, you know, leveling up heals you, so. I try not to do it very often, but sometimes I have no choice. Now, that just leads around in a circle, so let's head over to the west. Now we can... Are you going to move? There we go. Go through all these stones, and then I can find you. What? Dude? That... Oh, it's a gnome! Why? ha First human I've seen in a while! Is it a spirit? Yes! Have you not checked your own status screen? Hey, it's a guy! Yes, thank you for checking out my penis. Gaia swallowed me over 50 years ago. I've been here the whole time. I never got to see any ladies, but I suppose I could go with you if you really want me to. Yes! <laughs> I'll rescue you. Don't you worry. I need to get out of here. ASAP! And we received a gnome, an earth spirit. Hooray! It looks like, yeah, there's only one way out of here. But we uh, can equip our new spirit here. He is gnome. He'll give me defense and then he'll cast gnome. Uh, which is the attack, of course. And if we look at Popoy's notebook, we should have a new memo filled up here. Let's just make sure I didn't get any other ones that I missed. Uh, forging equipment. I had not gone over forging equipment. That is new, but uh, once again, you know, they're not really telling you anything here. Um, where's Earth Magic? There we go. It is the last one. Cuts damage from physical attacks by half, and then inflicts Earth damage and sometimes causes petrify status. Uh, very nice uh, if you can get a petrify off, but I doubt I'll be in that very often with my kind of luck. Alright, let's head over here, grab ourselves a treasure chest that is unguarded for an angel grail. Not that I have a party member that I could use that on. Alright, let's put the bow back on before I try to cast this. Alright, I should have Gnome equipped. There he is. Go Gnome down goes the oh, stone se stone seal that's what they're called i forgot for a second there all right grab the small seeds out of there and we have made our escape and we have made it to another mana goddess statue and that looks like that's going to do it for these parts of let's play sword of mana i've been baller scuba i've been joined as always by loki and all his spirit friends including gnome who joined just now. Hope you guys have enjoyed these parts. Hope you laughed. Hope you learned. Hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching.